A lot of people don't know all about Lincoln's connections to Indiana, and they are great. Maybe you'll remember this. Earlier this year, we gave you a tour of the brand new Roland Center for Lincoln Research. It was built on the first floor of the Allen County Public Library downtown branch, and it opened in January. It uses technology to educate and interact with visitors. But what we showed you in January is completely different today, showcasing new, rare artifacts of President Abraham Lincoln's collection, only found here in 21 Country. We've had almost 7,000 people through the doors since we've been open. The response has been just so amazing. People seem to really love the combination of technology and the actual artifacts. We have a little bit of something for everybody. Previously, we featured the Lincoln Family Photo Album and general overview of President Lincoln and then Civil War and slavery. In the cases that we're changing over now, we're featuring Mary Todd Lincoln, the Lincoln's assassination, and then the elections of 1860 and 1864. One of my favorite items is the Wide Awake Vocalist. The Wide Awakes were a group of supporters for President Lincoln, and songs and music were really important to the elections as well. So the songbook we have is all about what the Union was fighting for, as well as um, what they liked about President Lincoln. In the back, in the Mary Todd Lincoln case, we have our most famous and popular item in the collection out on display now uh, for the first time to the public, the Mary Todd Lincoln spirit photo. It's Mary Todd Lincoln sitting in morning dress with the ghost of Abraham Lincoln behind her. Um, so that is a perennial favorite. One of my favorites from this one here is we have an image of the Indianapolis funeral. So we have two. We have a smaller one that's the actual funeral that took place here in Indianapolis. And we have a touched up photo from the 1800s. So it was touched up in 1865 of Abraham Lincoln laying in state in New York City. So you can see him in his coffin, um, which is eerie, but very interesting. My other favorite from there would have to be just the photos that we have of Lincoln. So we have one from 1860, he's beardless. And then we have one from 1864 where he has the full on beard and he looks older because we see presidents age every time they're in office. It's great to get all the stuff out of the basement so much more of the public is able to experience this amazing collection. He kind of is um, deified. He's turned into a myth, a legend now, and we're able to bring him back down to where people can relate with the family. This collection is really empowering because it does reflect what is happening both now and can reflect a person within themselves. The Lincoln family had a lot of grief, a lot of tragedy, which people can reflect to, but also with things like the election, stuff like that, that can always come back to now. And the Roland Center for Lincoln Research also has a scavenger hunt, and when finished, the kids can earn a collectible pin. A new one comes out every few weeks. You can find more information on the center's new hours on our website, WPTA21.com. Classic cars are in the spotlight this weekend. I'm Tara Brantley. We're talking Auburn Core Duesenberg Festival.